Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December 17th of 2022 well, it is titled Apollo 17 VIP site anaglyph. So what do we see here? Well, here is a three dimensional uh, image of the Apollo 17 uh, landing site. And we see the rover uh, there in the foreground and the lunar module off in the distance off to the left hand side. Now you'll see that it has the slight red and blue coloring so that you can use red and blue 3D glasses to be able to see a three dimensional image of this put together by taking a couple of uh, regular images together from taken from slightly different perspectives just enough to give us that 3D view. Now Apollo 17 was the last of the Apollo missions and landed on the moon 50 years ago in December of 1972. So though the two the astronauts that walked on the moon there were the last humans to walk on the moon uh, over the last 50 years. Although our new programs as we've seen with the Orion craft are also planning on going back to the moon. So it's quite possible that we could go back in the relatively near future. What would those astronauts today find if they were to explore one of these landing sites that from the Apollo mission? Well, everything would look pretty much the same. Things do not change on the moon the way they change on Earth. So if you had left something like this at some point on Earth, we would expect that there would be a lot more decay, uh, rusting of material, weathering of material that would happen over 50 years. However, on the moon, there is essentially no weathering effects because there is no atmosphere, so no wind or water, which does a lot of the weathering on Earth. So if we could go back, the footprints that we see here in this image and the rover tracks would be exactly the same as they were 50 years ago when those astronauts walked on the moon. What the, the only... Uh, the only erosion that we have on the moon is through micrometeorites, tiny meteorites which pulverize the soil. So yes, they will slowly wear away at things like the footprints, but it will take many millions of years to actually wipe them out. So honestly, it will stay pretty much as is for the foreseeable future. So that was our picture of the day for December 17th of 2022. It was titled Apollo 17 VIP site anaglyph. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.